Sweet Pea and Friends, The Sheep Over, by John and Jennifer Churchman. Sweet Pea and Friends, The Sheep Over. It was way past bedtime, and Lady the Sheepdog was still awake. The winter moon hung low in the sky, and Lady heard Owl calling from the forest. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Lady woke Farmer John with a gentle nudge. Something was not right in the barn. Wild Red Fox moved swiftly past on silent snowy paws. He glanced at the farmer and his sheepdog as they headed to the barn, and then he faded into the night. All was silent in the barn as Lady moved quietly past Sadie the pony and around the watching sheep. He found Sweet Pea, the orphan lamb, curled on the hay. Her closest friends, Prim, Sunny, and Violet, stood nearby, urging her up, up, up. Sweet Pea's nose was hot and pink, but she could not stand up by herself. So Farmer John gently lifted her and started up the hill to the greenhouse. Buff Orpington the rooster stirred as the farmer walked past. Then he crowed loudly, Sweet Pea, Sweet Pea, something's wrong with Sweet Pea. Keeper the Goose startled awake and took flight, honking, Sweet Pea, Sweet Pea, what's wrong with Sweet Pea? Farmer John placed Sweet Pea on the soft, dry hay in the warm greenhouse and called Vet Allison, a country veterinarian who traveled from farm to farm taking care of animals. She carefully examined Sweet Pea, who had an injured leg and a fever. Vet Allison gave her medicine to help her feel better. Keep Sweet Pea quiet and have her rest. She will also need a friend for company, Vet Allison told Farmer John. Farmer John brought Sweet Pea's good friends, Prim, to stay with her so she wouldn't feel lonely. Sweet Pea looked forward to getting better. Vet Allison had told her that when she was well again and could walk down the hill to the barn, she could have a sleepover in the greenhouse with her friends to celebrate. The day finally came when C Sweet Pea felt able to walk down the hill to the barn for her appointment with Vet Allison. Her friends Sunny and Violet were there to welcome her. Vet Allison gave Sweet Pea a final checkup and declared Sweet Pea is much better. Now that she was well, Sweet Pea invited her friends to come to the greenhouse that very evening for a sheepover party. Farm dogs Siri, Quinn, and Lady heard the good news, and ran through the farmyard barking, Sweet Pea is better! Sweet Pea is better! It was all the talk of the hen house. Sweet Pea was feeling better. The ducks quacked happily to one another and told their friend Tom, the big bronze turkey, Sweet Pea is better now. Midsummer, the farm cat purring loudly asked his friend Tom, Did I hear Sweet Pea is feeling better? Yes, yes, gobbled Tom. Sweet pea is better. Sweet pea is better. Sweet pea could hardly wait for her friends to arrive for her sheepover party. Sadie the pony helped Sunny and Violet get ready. Farmer John and Lady came to lead Sweet Pea's friends to the sheepover. First Violet arrived and then Sunny, who was so excited that she jumped for joy. The farmer's wife, Jennifer, had made colorful trays of their favorite treats. Pumpkin slices for Sunny, sweet beets for Violet, and for Sweet Pea, the tender tips of pine tree branches. Prim gladly tasted everything. There were apples too, and oats sprinkled on top. Everyone enjoyed the feast and ended up with pumpkin stained faces. What should we do now, asked Violet, licking the last of the pumpkin from her lips. Let's dress up like Farmer John, Sonny cried, tossing the farmer's hat in the air. The friends all took turns trying on Farmer John's hat, which he had left by the greenhouse door. Let's dance now, Sonny said, as she started the music for a dancing under the disco ball. Just then, Lady was passing by. He poked his head through an open window pane. A disco ball, he exclaimed. He had never seen such a thing in the farmer's greenhouse. After dancing, everyone was very tired. 
It was now Sweet Pea's turn to choose what they did next before bedtime. Let's have Farmer John read us a story about Uncle Ollie when he was a little orphan lamb on the farm, she said. Yes, they all cried, for that story was their favorite. After the story, Farmer John turned out the greenhouse lights and wished them all good night. As the four friends snuggled down in the soft hay to sleep, Sweet Pea felt very happy to be better and be back with her friends. From the forest owl that was softly calling, Hoo! 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 This was the best sheepover ever. Sweet Pea thought as she and her friends drifted off to sleep. The end.